is. This is Rewind. Looks pretty fancy so far. This game is an interesting concept, at least. Ugh, what happened? So I have to say, it's as high as I wanted it to be, and uh, yeah, looks all right. Sensitivity is a bit much, but I think I'm gonna need that. All right. Oh man, where am I? Doesn't have a very high jump now, does she? No shit, can she run or duck? Don't have a passcode. We can't get in. What's this? Oh. That was easy. This is an interesting thing to get us started. Can't go that way. So what about that way? Uh, hi? Okay. Oh boy. Hey, sorry. I didn't expect to see anyone else here. Hi there. What is this place? I'm not really sure. They just told me to keep an eye on the place. Oh, great. It's on the top floor, though, if you're looking for a way out. Well, I wasn't having much luck with the door back there, and these ones seem like they're off. Hmm. Oh, wait, I know. There's an instruction manual around here. Just a sec. This is good character development so far. Ah, here we go. It, um, looks like you're supposed to learn how to use the rewind pads on the floor there. Uh, they'll help you get through areas where you'd normally need more than one person. I'm gonna power it up. Just a sec. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the orange button. This guy's very good. Ah. Here we go. You can stand on it now. All now, right. Use the pad to connect your suit. So, these pads on the floor let you record duplicates of yourself. You start with duplicate 1, and if you're happy with what you did, you can move on to duplicate 2. Or, any time you want, you can select the first duplicate to erase both of them and start over. There are some tests set up here to help. When you're ready, select duplicate one. This is literally from Crack in Time, isn't it? Like Ratchet and Clank Crack in Time. This sort of concept. Now stand on the pressure pad to open the door. While you're standing on the pad, rewind back to the beginning. Okay, now select duplicate two and go through the door when duplicate one opens it. Got it. Okay, you're picking this up quick. Try the next one. Go ahead and use the pad on the floor again. I don't mind this, honestly. If you want to look around first, there's an exit button on your arm. Otherwise, go for it. For this one, remember not to rush things. Give your next self some time to get on the elevator before you use the button. I have 38 seconds, huh? Cool. What is this? Okay. Interesting. And these are buttons. Okay. Well, let's give it a try.
Wrong elevator, but instead of rewinding, you can erase a bit and use the other one. Very interesting. We have 41 seconds on this one. That's enough time to handle this. Next is weapon training. Really? Why am I using weapons all of a sudden? Grab the gun before you go. There's a security drone behind the door. Well, that was easy. Only one gun, huh? So the door up here is being held closed by your first self. To open it, you're gonna... Uh, you know it says here the duplicates aren't real, but... That didn't scramble your brain city, did it? Nah, I'm good. Okay, we got a gun there. And we got a door for force field there. Got it. Next is... Explosives. Oh. Uh, be careful not to blow your other self up while you're blowing yourself up. Anytime you want, you can also keep track of your duplicates on your arm. Alright. This is a cool concept. I like this. There's a pressure pad behind the glass that opens the exit, but you'll need to change your duplicates path to get her there. Oh, great. So I'm gonna have to, uh, go over my past self. Yeah, I had a feeling that would be a thing. Alright. Ignore the buttons for now. Stand on the elevator for a few seconds, then go into the white alcove and rewind. Oh, fine. I'll ignore the button. Press the button when duplicate one stands on the elevator to move her path toward the pressure pad. Alright. So I can't just rewind over it. I do have to, like... <laughs> okay, I I get why there's a white pad there now. Uh, okay. What now? What? Oh, the doors. Well, let me check. All right, this thing. What? Beity Popiri's Spiritu. What? Sweet. It's an elevator, dude. It's not that fantastic. Well, might as well just go for this one more puzzle, and then we can end it there. Hey, how did I get here anyway? I don't know. Where were you before you were here? I'm not sure. It's like trying to remember a dream. Well, that makes a lot of sense. We 
think at that point I can just like I bet you I can do this. Have to get at the right spot. I I have to actually do it correctly. Okay. Done. So far, no secrets. In fact, I think I fell asleep. I could be dreaming right now. Well, that would suck for me. I'm pretty sure I'm real, though. I think? You're kind of frying my brain right now. Your ink, the way you word things is kind of weird, dude. Okay. For that one, he's done. Okay. One last one, then we're gonna be done for now. Oh, I might do this again in my own stream. Actually, you know what? Let's go over that again. Alright. Halfway there. This is actually kind of funny. Oh shit. At this point, see if you can steal the gun from her. Wait, why? Eh, maybe next time. I get the feeling the game wants me to do it this way. I'm, I'm doing better than her. And the gun's gone. It's starting to come back to me. I was somewhere very quiet, and it was starting to get cold. And quite honestly, that's gonna have to do. I liked that. It was a basic concept, and it's cool. So, yeah. I'm fine with this. Right, so that was Rewind, and if you want to get that game, play it yourself, you can. I, I, I don't know if I can actually recommend it, but hey, go for it, man, because that was actually pretty cool.